Okay, so this question seems to be quite interesting now. Let us see. A girl throws an object horizontally at time t is equal to 0. Okay, it is a horizontal motion. It is thrown horizontally. So we are talking about a horizontal projectile. Air resistance can be ignored. Very, very important. At t is equal to 0 0.5 seconds, the object travels horizontally a distance of x while it falls vertically through a distance of y. So let us see what is uh, given in the question now. Let us say there is this object here and it is launched horizontally. So it moves like this. So it has reached, let us say, this position. Let us say this position it has reached and uh, the horizontal distance traveled is x and the vertical distance that was traveled will be uh, y. Okay, so this is case number one and I can say that time is 0 0.5 second. Now what is the question? What do we need to do? What is the initial velocity of the object? So this u is unknown to us and the vertical distance fallen at t is equal to one second. Let us say it has reached here. When one second is over, that is 0 0.5 second more, the body will definitely move along the trajectory towards down. So it is traveling uh, more x distance. I can say that x dash and the new uh, vertical distance can be taken as y dash. Okay, fine. So this is the statement of the question now. So we need to find the initial velocity. So let us see. So let us concentrate on case number one. Uh, as we know that in this kind of a projectile motion, the horizontal velocity does not change because the acceleration is taking place only and only on the vertical axis not on the horizontal axis. So it means that horizontally the velocity will be constant and it is traveling for 0 0.5 seconds at a constant speed and the distance traveled is x. So straightforward I can create this equation that x is the distance is equal to speed into time isn't it? Yes. So distance speed into time is 0 0.5. So from here I can say that initial velocity will be equal to 2x and as when we check the options so we need to find the initial velocity in the terms of x so that is why we have to do this so our answer will be either c or d well although we know that the answer is d but anyways so the first case is solved so the initial velocity will be equal to x now let us uh, uh, think about uh, the vertical distance fallen now he is talking about y dash and we need to find y dash in the terms of y. So again we need to compare the two cases and then we can find that. So I am just erasing it. Now so this will be case number two. Now, now what we are going to do is we are going to compare the both of them. So s is equal to ut plus half at square for the vertical motion. So in the case number one, y is the distance, u is zero, because in both of the cases uh, for the vertical motion, u is zero, isn't it? Yeah. So it will be half g t square and y dash can be taken as half g t square. That is one square because now it is falling for the one second. So we need to compare these two. Very simple. So y dash divided by y. We just divide these things. So half and g, half and g will cancel each other. So it will be 1 square divided by 0 0.5 square. So it will become 4. So our answer will be y dash is equal to 4 y. So our answer is d. Yeah. As shown here. So my dear students, because the time is very less now, so I have to close the video, but uh, you can just uh, rewind the video, you can see, you can see the video again. So what I have done is, I, in the two cases, I have found the vertical distances traveled, I have divided them to compare and I found y dash in the terms of y. So with this, all the best.